Search for App Mink. All right, today we're getting some help from Mr. Pig. Oh, stop! We've got to bring the passenger section over. Line those wheels up. Oops, missed. Oh, here's the cab. That's why they missed. That looks great. Let's get some photos. Don't forget the mirrors. And lastly, the seats with our friendly bus driver, Mink. Mr. Pig is our first passenger. Let's go for a drive. Oh, forgot something. The engine. That sounds better. Wow. Looking good, Mrs. School Bus. See you again soon. Search for App Mink. So, are you coming to the App Mink disco party tonight, Mink? Helicopter and I will be putting on quite a show. Bright lights and cool music. We will all be sure to have a great time. Sure am, Car. I'm looking forward to it very much. Help! Help! Someone! Fennec, what's going on here? And why is the tree on fire? I'm glad you're here, Mink. There is a little kitty stuck on top of that tower. And Big Mink climbed that tree to try and rescue it. Then a branch broke off and the tree fell onto the power lines. One of the lines broke away from the power pole and a spark from it caused a fire. Help! How do we stop this? Don't worry, Fennec Fox, Big Mink, or a little kitty. I know the right person for the job. Walkie talkie. Good morning in, Chief. Walkie talkie, can you call up fire truck? Sure thing, Mink. Fire truck, do you copy? We have a problem here and we need you ASAP. Copy that, walkie talkie. What seems to be the problem? We have Big Mink stuck high up in a tree and a kitty high up in a tower. They both need your help, and with your long rescue ladder, we'll be able to get them both down safely. And by the way, fire truck, a fire has started as well. I'm on it. Now, call in the electrician to turn off the power in the street immediately. We don't want any more fires to start, or for someone to get electrocuted. Oh, guys, hurry up! Help is on the way, Big Mink! Hang in there! Thank goodness! 
this your here fire truck? Fenny Fox, take the hose and stop putting out that fire. You will need to attach me to that fire hydrant over there. Oh, all this smoke is making me feel dizzy. I think I might fall. Don't worry, Big Mink. Fire truck is here, and we'll get you and Kitty down soon. Mink, we have no time to spare. You have to climb the ladder and get Big Mink down. Oh no, fire truck! The ladder doesn't quite reach. The ladder is only five meters long. I need another five meters to reach Big Mink. And worse still, I need another 10 meters to reach Kitty. What do we do? Don't worry, Mink. I have a ladder extension. I can provide the extra 10 meters you need. The fire is nearly out, team. Mink, have you reached Big Mink? Don't worry, Big Mink. We've got you. Boy, am I glad to see you, Mink. Thanks for coming to my aid. Don't mention it. Time to bring him down, Mink. Wait, Mink. Don't forget, Kitty! Big Mink, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. But I did cause a whole lot of trouble. Don't be so hard on yourself, Big Mink. While it's true that we can all be heroes, we all have our own strengths and limitations. You're right, Mink. Maybe I'm not the best climber after all. Don't worry, Big Mink. You just wanted to help. And well done for that. Yay! Everyone is safe and sound! Thanks goes to Fire Truck for helping us out again. And just in time for the disco. Let's go! I'm hungry. Search for App Mink. Here's Mr. Train again. What's he got for us today? Train. It's blueprints for a fire truck and all the parts we need to build it. Look at that. Big Mink has the wheels for us. Wheels. And Mink's got some too. Oh, Miss Mink needs some help. Thanks for helping, Mink. That was too heavy, even for Big Mink. What's next? Oh, using helicopter hats. Great idea. Alright, now the cab. Look at how strong Big Mink is. Now the cab is on, and the lights too. Let's add some of the panels. And what's next? Door. That's right. Some more parts for the back. Who's that helping us with the back part? Crane truck. Yep, great work. Now, what's this last piece? Ladder. Yep, the ladder. Looking great, everyone. What lovely photos. Oh, Mink has a present for our fire truck. It's a magic orb that brings him to life.
Now one more time. Who have we got here? Fire truck. That's right. It's Mr. Fire truck. Search for App Mink. Hi everyone. Tonight is the night of Halloween for App Mink Town, and it's looking especially scary. The monster cars are sitting around the campfire, swapping ghost stories. When all of a sudden, <laughs> I've cast a spell on you all. It's a spell that gives you costumes to go trick or treating in. Now we've got our own magic and extra scary designing room. So, you're up first, Flash? Well, I think you will make a great Frankenstein. Perfect. You're up next, Speedy. All right, cowboy for you. Abracadabra. Wow, check out that hat and mustache. Victor, you can be a rock star. Hope you like rock and roll. So cool. And how about a werewolf for you, Bluey? Mm, look at those teeth. I'm scared already. And lastly, Blaze. You can be an Indian. Such a fantastic headdress. Okay, are you guys ready to go? Let's do some trick-or-treating. Oh, this is Ming's house. Who is it? And he's got a huge bowl of candy. What an awesome show! <laughs> what a great punk rock costume. You're definitely a rock star. Don't forget to thank Mink for the candy. You make such a great Frankenstein. <laughs> what does Big Mink think? He loves it. <laughs> oh, well, let me take a picture. Don't forget to thank him for the candy. Okay, who's next? Huh? Someone's at the door! Well, howdy there, Miss Mink. Oh, uh, wow! Could you spare some candy for our partner here? That's such a great cowboy costume! What a great cowboy! Here you go! Don't forget to say thanks! Oh, here comes Blaze! He's sneaking up to the police station. Oh, you and Police Chief Mink are both wearing the same costume. Isn't that funny? Thanks, Police Chief Mink. And now, Fox Mink's house. Don't scare him too much with that werewolf costume. You're scary. Thanks for the candy, Fox Mink. Hope you all had a good time and happy Halloween from everyone here at Abmink. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you all next time. Search for Abmink. Somebody help! Evil Dr. Pig has snatched my bag! <laughs> I've hit the jackpot this time. Not so fast, <laughs> Evil Dr. Pig. <laughs> evil Dr. Pig thinks he can steal Miss Mink's bag and get away with it? I don't think so. He's driving like a maniac, helicopter. We need to stop him fast before he causes too much damage. Go, car! You can do it! <laughs> How can I shake off that pesky police car? <laughs> I know. Oh no! Car, watch out! Phew, close call. But now I've lost him. Car, there's another way. Go back to the previous intersection and make a right. Look straight ahead, and I think you'll find Evil Dr. Pig on the bus cart in the distance. Yeah? Police car again! 
Where did he come from? Time to end this. I know what will get the police car off my tail. Time to use the oil slick. <laughs> nice dodge, car. Thanks, helicopter. Time to speed it up. <laughs> Battering ram systems, go! Hey, what the? Be careful with that thing. Good idea, car. Now's your chance. Oh no, it didn't work. So close. I need a way to get out. Wait, what's that? A tunnel! Finally, I'll be able to get rid of car! Oh no, not again! Now, how will we catch Evil Dr. Pig? Finally! A free pig! <laughs> huh? Time to drop a spike strip! A spike strip! Ah! <laughs> you may be able to stop my car, but I can still get away on foot! Not so fast, Evil Dr. Pig! Oh no, you don't, Evil Dr. Pig. Hmm. Huh? Oh no! Huh? Huh? Oh, back in prison again! Colors. Colors. Red. Red. Yellow. Yellow. Pentagon Pentagon Circle Circle Right, now we're over at the App Mingtown Railway Station. And guess what? We're going to build Mr. Train. Let's start assembling him. Now, what have we got here? Rocket. That's right. Where does a rocket go to? Space. Great work! Mm -hmm. 
Look at that! The rocket was actually part of the train! Starting to look good, Mr. Train! Now the dump truck is here! What have you got for us? Wheels. Wow! Thanks so much! That'll be a great help! <laughs> and what's next? Engine. That's right! The engine helps the wheels work. All right, just the finishing touches left. Now, what have we got here? Train. That's right, it's Mr. Train. And what's this he's going to pull? Wagon. Yep, a wagon. Let's watch him go. Wow, looking great, Mr. Train. Miss Mink has an idea. Whoa, yeah. what a cool move! Great work, Miss Mink. Oh no! Oh no! The blocks got in the way! Now Fox Mink is making his move with the garbage cannon. Mink is still in the lead, though. Whoops. Oh, this looks fun. Wow, look at that strength! Uh-oh, what's Evil Dr. Pig doing? Yeah, this will get him. He's using a pig cannon to destroy everyone's cars. Bike wheels? That's not fair! Careful, Mink! Oh, 
Oh no! What now? What? Mix driving on two wheels! This is amazing! Come on, Mink! You can't let that cheater win! Shot, Mink. Yeah, uh, uh, they had get me. Uh, uh, we need to help you. Yeah, we're gonna help you. All right, it's a push race now. Lucky your friends are here to help. Uh, Come on, guys, you can do it! Yay, you did it! Mink is the winner! Serves evil Dr. Pig right for cheating! It's a new day here at Atmink, and we've got a new vehicle to build. A tractor. Truck. Truck. Our truck is here helping us. Here's some of the parts we need. Shall we get started? Okay, let's go. Let's start putting everything together. Looking great. Can't forget the lights. All right, the truck is back with more parts. What have we got here? Looks like that's the rest of the cabin. And the wheels are here too. Let's get everything put together so we can meet our new friend. What was his name again? Tractor. Tractor. That's right, Tractor. And what's he going to pull over here? Trailer. Trailer. That's right, a trailer. And it looks like he's going to use the trailer to pull an animal. What animal is it? Cow. Cow. That's right, it's a cow. 
Thanks for joining us and helping to build the tractor. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time. Search for App Mink. Welcome back to App Mink Town, everyone. There's a vehicle meet today for the awesome vehicle competition. And some of the vehicles from App Mink are here to show off what they can do. Monster Truck is raring to go. Digger is pushing his way into position. What an impressive jump! The school bus is flying on over. The crane truck's here too, and ready to roll. Are we missing someone? Ah, it's the garbage truck, cleaning up before he gets in position. The monster truck jumps out first to show us what he can do. Howdy kids, I'm the monster truck. I'm the coolest ride in town. I love getting paint jobs and doing stunts. Check out my huge tires. I also have a strong chassis and extra suspension for jumps and tricks. And my engine is extra powerful. I like showing off tricks to my friends, but it often gets me dirty, and I hate taking them back. But I think being dirty just ain't cool. Grr, out of my way. Hey, wait. Kids, if you want to be cool, you've got to be strong. Look at my strong arm. I can dig holes and move heavy things. And look at my strong blade. I can move even heavier things with this or lift them like they're nothing and turn and place them anywhere. Tires aren't cool. Treads are much tougher. They can take you anywhere. And that's why I'm the strong. Hey, wait! Out of the way, make way for someone who's really strong. The strongest are always in a team. We're the crane truck. We're two friends who always work together. The crane can reach up to the sky with his hook and use it to lift heavy things and place them in the right spot. But not only can he lift things, he can also smash him. Bam! We've got six big wheels so we can move heavy objects fast and easily. But if the crane needs more support, I have extra legs to lift heavier and higher. Teamwork is definitely the best. I'll teach you, you giraffe. <laughs> You'll never catch us with those treads. <laughs> Kids, we all know the most fun thing isn't being strong or being with just one friend. It's being with lots of friends. My body is made especially for moving lots of people at once. And I have lots of comfortable seats and top-notch suspension, making me great for carrying all your friends. We'll drive through extreme conditions together and have crazy adventures. And when it's all said and done, I'll make sure you go home soon. I bring you and your friends together 
Oh no, look at the time! I'm late to pick up the kids from school again! Hi kids, I'm not the coolest or the strongest, and I can't take you and your friends on adventures. Some of you might have seen me before though. That's because I get up really early and drive through town. I use my mechanical arm to pick up garbage bins and clean unneeded objects and store them in my body. This means you can get rid of rubbish so your home doesn't get cluttered and is tidy and clean and has room for toys. <sighs> but I have to go to bed now. Tomorrow I'll be up early again. Bye kids. Good night. Thanks for watching and tell us in the comments who your favorite vehicle is. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time. Search for App Mink. Hello everybody! Hello! Today, we are going to build a helicopter. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes! First, we should call the landing skis. Wow, here they are! Kevin is coming. Right on its place. Everything we need to be stable. Hey monster truck! Are these the parts for the helicopter's tail? Wow! Fantastic! The blades with the main rotor. Cool! Over here! Get in the helicopter! Time the doors! One... Two... Three... Four! Well done! <laughs> ah, the keys! You can do it, Mink! Yeah! Here we go! Cool! He's flying!
Okay, what are we building today, Mink? Looks like we've got a chassis with different kinds of doors on each side. Interesting. Let's keep watching. Here comes the... Wheels. Th that's right! Wheels. Mr. Dump Truck is helping us with more parts. Now we have the full chassis. 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 What goes in the chassis? Engine. Engine. Yep, the engine. Now, what do we need to sit in? Seat. Yep, the seat. Seat. Let's start adding some of the outside parts. Now do you know who this guy is? Monster Truck. Monster Truck. Yep, he's a monster truck. Look at him go! What a jump! Search for App Mink! Previously in App Mink Town... Evil Dr. Pig has snatched my bag! Not so fast, <laughs> Evil Dr. Pig! <laughs> go car! You can do it! <laughs> Time to end this! Time to use the oil slick! Oh no, not again! A spike strip! Not so fast, Evil Dr. Pig! Oh no, you don't, Evil Dr. Pig! Oh, oh back in prison again! I sure am glad no one was hurt today. And we can return Miss Mink's bag. Yeah, I'm glad too, Helicopter. Us cars, we make the best police vehicles. Just look at my shiny motor. It is so powerful. At top speed, I can reach up to 130 miles per hour. Bad guys like Evil Dr. Pig see me coming in their rear vision mirror before they can even say yikes. With my motor, I can rise high up into the sky. Whoa, steady there, helicopter. You'll go right through the top of this building if you're not careful. And the last thing I want to be doing is cleaning up a big mess. For us cars, control is important. We need the best steering to avoid objects on the road. People, animals, and sometimes big rocks, and even oil. Good steering helps us to move around these objects with ease. Helicopters do have plenty of air and space to fly around in, but we also need to change direction quickly. That's why we use our tail rotor. Tail rotors also help keep us stable. Without it, we'd spin around and around in circles. Oh, that sounds scary. We have tires to help us stay stable on the road. Can you think of any conditions that would make it difficult for us to stay on the road, helicopter? In the snow and the rain? Exactly. But good tires keep us on the road, especially at high speed. They are also useful when driving through slippery mud. I bet you would need a good bath after that. Sure do. And I really don't like baths. We also have a rear wing that helps us stay on the road. 
Not to mention, rear wings look seriously cool. Don't you think, helicopter? It sure does look cool, car. But as you know, helicopters don't want to stay on the ground. They want to fly high into the sky so they can see everything below. We have these huge main rotors to help us do that. I was wondering when you would mention those. <laughs> Sorry, car. Now I will definitely be sure to let you know when I'm around. I could do that with my siren and flashing lights. The lights flash red and blue, and the siren makes a sound like this. Wow, so loud! But wouldn't you rather sneak up quietly on bad guys? Good point, helicopter. But sirens and flashing lights let other people know that I am coming. That way they can move out of harm's way. We need special lights too. We have a large spotlight for spotting things at night. With our spotlight, we can easily find bad guys. Also, it warns people of potential danger. Wow, helicopter! That is a very bright spotlight. And I can feel the warmth of it. It's like I'm sitting around a campfire. Do you have any marshmallows that we could cook and eat? <laughs> no, I don't have any marshmallows. Sorry, car. I can also make loud sounds through my loudspeaker. With my spotlight and loudspeaker, maybe we can host a special admin disco party. Sounds like fun. You know what, helicopter? We sure do have a lot of differences. But when we work together, we make a great crime-fighting team. Teamwork sure is important, car. Miss Mink was so happy when she got her bag back today. With teamwork, we can make such a difference and help people. We sure can. Are you ready for the next song? This one's about an itsy bitsy little spider. Come on, let's sing! Incy wincy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed poor Incy out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. So Incy wincy spider climbed up the spout again. Incy wincy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed poor Incy out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain So Wincy Wincy Spider climbed up the spout again Wincy Wincy Spider climbed up the water spout Down came the rain and washed poor Wincy out Sunshine and dried up all the rain. So Wincy Wincy Spider climbed up the spout again. Wincy Wincy Spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed poor Wincy out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. So Wincy Wincy Spider climbed up the spout again. Search for App Mink. Hi everyone. Today we get to meet the new monster truck and take him in for an upgrade and some cool new body kit additions. Here he comes now. All right, are you ready to go in? Great, let's go. Down the elevator to the mechanic room. Wow, this room is huge! Are you ready for your upgrade? First, let's take you through the car wash. 
Oh, you don't like the bathing idea, huh? Don't worry, it'll be okay. Nice and clean, that's it. Looking good. Now, to the designing room. Great! Now that we're in the designing room, let's try some colors. Let's see. Purple? Not bad. White? No, too bright. What about green? Oh, you don't like green? Hmm. How about blue? Yeah, this is perfect. All right, let's put on some cool decals and stickers for you. Wow, there's so many to choose from. Let's go with this one. Fire. That looks awesome. Now a sticker on the back, and some fire on the other side, and now some stickers under the lights at the front. This is looking so cool. What about the top? Perfect. Now let's change the color of the rims. Yellow. Those go perfectly with your new body color. Oh, what's in here? Wow! Look at all these props and accessories we can add. Punk hair? Afro hair? Horns? Even tusks? <laughs> these are hilarious! For now, let's just put a scoop on the hood and a wing at the back. Also add some exhaust pipes. Wow, you look awesome. This is amazing. You're the best monster truck I've ever seen. Let's show off these sweet new changes to our friends. Wow, amazing. So cool. Don't forget to subscribe to Acme so you don't miss any cool new upgrades like this guy just got. See you next time! Search for App Mink! Good morning, everybody! It's still really early in App Mink Town, so we don't want to wake anyone up! Look at all the sleeping parts! Good morning, Mink! You're going to play us a song? Oh, wow! It sounds so cool! And it's woken up Mr. Crane Truck's parts! Let's watch him collect them all and put himself together! The wheels are getting ready and waiting for the body. Here he comes! The cab is getting the seat and some of the other parts on his way over. It 
It's all coming together now. Looking great. Now, some of Mink's magical music is going to bring them together forever. Look at Mr. Crane carry those logs. Great work! Alright kids, we're going to learn about numbers. And guess what? We're going to learn with some awesome car jumping stunts. Now that we've made the ramps, we need our first car. And here's the monster truck, ready to do his first jump. How many cars are there? One. One. Next. Two. Wow, a 360. Two. All right, ready for the next jump? Three. Wow, a backflip. Three. Four. Reverse into 180. Four. Wow. Okay, getting hotter. Five. Five. Six. Another 360. Six. More cars. Seven. Another reverse into 180. Seven. Eight. Whoa, a barrel roll. Eight. Okay, here we go. Nine. Another backflip. Nine. Ten. Last jump. Ten. He made it. Great work, Mr. Monster Truck. Thanks for helping us learn to count. Search for App Mink. Okay, kids, let's learn some letters. A. Apple. B. I 
ice cream. That was great! Let's check them out one more time. Now, let's take a break. Search for App Mink. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to another educational adventure with Mr. Train and everyone from App Mink Town. Hi, Mr. Train. Today, we're going to learn about shapes. How many shapes do you know? Let's find out. The first shape is a circle. Did you know that the sun is a circle? Look at how happy he is about it. The police car and the school bus are showing us how the circle goes round and round. Next is the triangle. Did you know pyramids are made from triangles? These pyramids come all the way from Egypt. Mr. Train is showing us the triangle shape this time. Our third shape is the square. A square has four sides. Look at those exciting square presents. I wonder what's inside. The monster truck is bringing us four Lego blocks to make the four sides of the square. Our next shape is the pentagon. Did you know that the black spots on soccer balls are pentagons? But not the white spots. We'll find out about those next. The crane trucks are bringing us logs to use as the five sides of the pentagon. Stop! Oh, wait, it's just our next shape, the hexagon! Now, if we line up the holes at the end of these six beams, we can make a hexagon. Let's lock them in place with the screws. Our sixth shape is a super shape. It's the star! And we have our superstar star here with us too! What's this? What is Evil Dr. Pig doing? Oh, he's pretending to be Pac-Man and eating Pac-Dots in the corners of the star. Now, we've got a diamond shape. Most kites are diamond shaped, with the tail flowing down from the bottom point. To make a diamond, we're going to get some help from our good friend, Mr. Duck Truck. Next is one of the loveliest shapes, the heart shape. Look at all the heart that little bear has got to give. Remember to give the people you love hearts like this bear to show them you care. Mr. Helicopter is going to draw a big heart in the sky for us. Thanks so much, Mr. Helicopter. It looks great. Our ninth shape is the oval. And what are the ovals we have in the basket? That's right, they're eggs! The dump truck is going to dump the eggs in the shape of an oval. It's an oval of ovals! Great work, Mr. Dump Truck! Our last shape is the rectangle. It looks like a stretched out square. Let's build a rectangle out of blocks. And now that we know how to make one, we can paint a rectangle on the wall. If you think you can draw a rectangle as well, draw one in the air with your finger. That's all of the shapes for today. Let's go through them one more time. Circle, triangle, square, pentagon, hexagon, star, diamond, heart, oval and rectangle. 
Thanks so much for your help, Mr. Train, and everyone else from AppMe. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Search for App Mink. Hi, everybody. Today, we're going to build all the letters in the alphabet. Look out. The alphabet train is coming through. First is the letter A. A for apple. The train goes up. Then another comes down. And finally, the stop sign lies over the middle. Now, the letter B for ball. The monster truck goes down. And then he goes around and around. C is for car. C is a big sideways rainbow. D is for dog. To build a D, we race down, then around from the bottom to the top. E is for eggs. We do two blocks on the side, then one at the top, one in the middle, and one at the bottom. F is for flower. For this letter, we water down the front, then across the top, then the middle. G is for gift. To build a G, we drive around in a loop, then place a gift in the middle. H is for hat. We put a log on the left, a log on the right, and then a little one in between. I is for igloo. Look, the tracks from these igloos make the shape of an eye. J is for jelly. To build a J, we go down and do a big turn at the bottom, then across the top. K is for kite. First, we go down the left, then come in and bounce off. L is for light. The water falls down, then flows off to the right. M is for magnet. The car building M goes down, then down again, then up, then down. N is for nut. We can use nuts to build an N, but we need a lot of them. O is for orange. Watch the cars go round and round in the shape of an O. P is for pig. Inspector Pig's inspector footprints mean he's been inspecting in the shape of a P. Q is for Queen. The train tracks go in a loop, 
with a tunnel near the bottom. R is for ring. Watch as the trail from the helicopter makes an R for us. S is for star. The fox skis curve back and forth to make an S. T is for tiger. We can build a T with crayons so easily. U is for umbrella. Whoops! Looks like these tracks were going the wrong way and had to turn back around in the shape of a U. V is for violin. Watch as the ball comes down and bounces off like a V. W is for wheel. Down. Then up, then down, then up. X is for xylophone. Watch as the traffic crosses just like an X. Y is for yellow. We can use yellow paint to paint a Y. Z is for a zoo. Watch as the fire truck drives on the Z track. Now that the train has showed us how to build all the letters, it's time for him to go home. Thanks, Mr. Train. Now we can build everything from A to Z. See you next time. Search for At Mink TV. Hi, everyone. Today's another beautiful day at At Mink Town. And guess what? We've got another lesson for you from Mr. Train. Are you excited? I know I am. Let's get started. Today, we're learning about fruit. Do you know what fruit is in this box? It's bananas. Bananas grow on palm trees and love to be eaten by monkeys. You just peel the yellow skin off and chow down. Now, what fruit is this? It's an apple. There are over 7,000 different types of apples. If you tried one per day, it'd take you 20 years to taste them all. Apples are delicious, but make sure you don't eat the middle. That bit's not very tasty. To get apples, we plant an apple seed from the core in the ground, and it grows into an apple tree. Now what's our next fruit? It's a pear. Pears come in different colors, including green, orange, yellow, and even red. And they grow on trees much like apples. The wood from pear trees can be used to make lots of nice things, like ornaments, tables, and musical instruments like the cello. Now our next fruit often comes in pears. It's cherries. Cherries grow on beautiful trees called cherry blossoms. They produce about 800 cherries. Cherries are great when you have them with dessert, like cupcakes or pies, and look great on top. Wow, look at the size of that cherry pie. I hope that's not just for you, Fennec Fox. Now this fruit will be hard to guess. Can you get it? It's a coconut. Coconuts grow on palm trees in tropical places like deserted islands. The trees can reach 20 meters tall, which is as high as an 8th floor building. Hi, Big Mink! Hi! Ah, coconut. Now I bet you can all guess this fruit. 
It's the pineapple. Pineapples grow out of the ground and they're actually a type of berry. If you slice off the top, you can use it to grow a new one. Wow, Mink, that pineapple is gigantic! Maybe you should invite your friends to help eat it. Wow, look at The largest pineapple is 32 centimeters long and weighed over 8 kilograms. Does everybody know this next fruit? It's lemons! Lemons grow on trees much like apples and pears. The trees are called evergreens and produce fruit all year. Oh, you like lemons, Miss Mink? No, too sour. Lemons are tastiest when you make lemonade by squeezing out their juices. You can also use lemons as a battery. Isn't that amazing? Okay, on to the next fruit. It's oranges. Oranges are another fruit that grows on trees like lemons. Oranges are like the children of Pinellos and the older <laughs> brothers of mandarins. <laughs> To eat an orange, first peel off the skin, mm. which you can then use to make some nice tea or for making cakes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oranges usually break into ten pieces after you take the skin off. Our next fruit is an old favorite. It's strawberries. Strawberries are covered in lots of tiny little seeds, the only fruit like this. There can be as many as 200. They grow on long stalks that come out of the ground that only produce fruit for five years. Strawberries are another fruit that goes great with dessert. The pineberry is a type of strawberry that's very pale and tastes like a pineapple. Do you know what our next fruit is? It's blackberries. They hang off the end of long branches. But watch out for the thorns. Blackberry leaves are great in tea. And if you feed blackberries to bees, they make delicious, dark, fruity honey. You can even use them to make pies, creams, ice creams, and jams. And they're all delicious. What do we have this time? It's the blueberry. Blueberries are great because you can eat lots of them before you get full. You can also use blueberries to make paint. So you and your friends can paint beautiful pictures. And just like other berries, you can make lots of delicious things like jams, pies, and ice creams. Thanks for another awesome lesson, Mr. Train. Let's go through them again. Banana, apple, pear, cherry, coconut, pineapple, lemon, orange, strawberry, blackberry, and blueberry. Thanks everyone for joining us on this learning adventure. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time. Search for App Mink. Hey there, App Mink scholars, and welcome to the first installment of App Mink Academy. Today, we'll be talking about the seasons. As you know, there are four seasons. Summer is very hot and there's lots of sunshine. Winter is very cold and depending on where you live, there may be snow and ice. Spring is warm and lots of flowers come out in bloom. And in autumn, the leaves change color and fall from the trees. But you might be wondering, why do we have seasons? That is an excellent question. Let's join Mink on a journey into outer space to find out. Firstly, it is important to remember that like other planets in our solar system, the Earth moves around the Sun in a circular path called an orbit. Bearing that in mind, let's take a closer look at our Earth. Earth is a sphere like an orange. There is an imaginary line running through the Earth called the axis. You may notice that the axis does not run straight up and down. This is because the Earth is actually on a tilt or lean. That tilt is the reason for the seasons. 
As the Earth orbits around the Sun, sometimes parts of the Earth lean toward the Sun and away from the Sun. When the part of the Earth you live on leans towards the Sun, it's summer there. But you might be wondering, why is summer hotter than the other seasons? Another excellent question! It's because during summer, when the part of the Earth you live on leans towards the Sun, it receives more direct sunlight. In other words, that warm, toasty sunlight is hitting that part of the Earth straight on. It is more concentrated in one spot and more intense. And what about winter? Well, when the part of the Earth you live on leans away from the Sun, it's winter there. Winter is colder than the other seasons because during winter, when the part of the Earth you live on leans away from the Sun, it receives indirect sunlight. In other words, that warm and toasty sunlight is now hitting the Earth at an indirect angle. It is spread out over a larger area and less intense. As for spring and autumn, these are the in-between seasons. During spring and autumn, the Earth is neither leaning towards nor away from the Sun. Clear as mud? It may help us if we follow the Earth on its orbit around the Sun and see how it works. Imagine you are here. What season would it be? I'll put that question to you, at Mink Scholars. I'll give you five seconds to think about it. If you said summer, then you are correct! Well done! The answer is summer because the place where the arrow is pointing is leaning towards the sun. Now let's see what happens as the Earth orbits around the sun. Let's stop here for a moment. Do you notice that the Earth is neither leaning towards nor away from the sun? Right now it would be autumn. Off we go again. Okay, let's stop here. We have made the journey right around to the other side of the sun. Do you notice that where the arrow is pointing is now leaning away from the sun? So, at Mink Scholars, what season would it be? I'll give you five seconds to think about it. If you said winter, then you are correct! Well done! The answer is winter because the place where the arrow is pointing is now leaning away from the sun. Let's keep going. Again, let's stop here for a moment. Do you notice that the Earth is neither leaning towards nor away from the sun again? Right now, it would be spring. Time to finish off this journey around the sun. Okay, so now we've arrived back where we started and it's summer again in the place indicated by the arrow. And hopefully, you have a clear understanding as to why we have the seasons. But our learning is not over yet. Did you notice how long that journey took to complete one whole orbit? I'll give you another five seconds to think about it. If you said one year or 365 days, then you're correct! It takes one year or 365 days for the Earth to make a full orbit of the Sun. In that time, we have four seasons. Each season is three months in length. And one more thing. Let's look at the Earth moving around the Sun again. You'll notice that when the top half of the Earth is leaning towards the Sun, the bottom half is leaning away from the Sun. That means that when it is summer in the top half of the Earth, it is winter in the bottom half of the Earth. For example, when it is summer in Australia, it is winter in the USA. So the bottom half always has the opposite season to the top half of the Earth. Okay, so let's wrap this up. So why do we have seasons? Because our Earth is not straight up and down, but rather it is tilted on its axis. That means that as the Earth orbits the Sun, sometimes parts of the Earth lean towards and away from the Sun. When the part of the Earth you live on leans towards the Sun, it's summer there. When the part of the Earth you live on leans away from the Sun, it's winter there. 
When the Earth is neither leaning towards or away from the Sun, it is spring or autumn. The relative temperatures in each season are related to the amounts of direct sunlight that a part of the Earth is receiving at any given time. So, that's it for the first installment of App Mink Academy. Now you know why we have seasons. Till next time, and as always, keep on learning! Search for App Mink. Welcome back to App Mink Town. Looks like Mr. Train is doing well. <laughs> oh no, is that evil Dr. Pig? What's he doing? It looks very suspicious. What's in that bag? There are some very suspicious looking tools. And was that dynamite? What's he gonna do with that? Oh, this doesn't look good. Evil Dr. Pig, please stop! Oh my gosh! This is terrible! Mink! Oh no! Police copter! Please help! The tunnel has been blown up! Somebody blew up the tunnel, please, Chief Mink! Oh, that's terrible! First we're gonna put out the fire, and then move that log! Good work, Mr. Fire Truck! Putting out the fire is a great first step! Same goes for you, Mr. Crane! Good work! Oh, what are we gonna do? Oh, how do we move all this? Oh, that evil Dr. Pig! Do. What's that, Miss Mink? You've got an idea. Aha! You think we should build a digger? Aw, oh, yeah, that's pretty clever. Look here! Alright, let's get started. First, we need the cap. Come on, cab. Don't leave us hanging. Next, come the sides and the seat. Jump on, guys. And on to the base. Come on, Grill, what are you waiting for? the boom, arm, and the bucket. Quickly, we've got a tunnel to fix. Oh no! Dr. Pig's minions are here to stop us! Oh no! Mm -hmm. Great work, Mink! Alright! We're back on track! So, next up, we need the tilt cylinder and the blade. Great work! And now, the tracks and the frame.
now we're ready to get rolling. Finally, the steering wheel gets to join. And now we're ready to help fix the tunnel. Oh, maybe a bit more power first. Oh, you're forgetting something. Huh? Thanks, Big Mink. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thanks. See ya. All right, Mink. Let's go. Uh, uh. Ah, <laughs> Evil Dr. Pig's minions are trying to stop us again. Great work, Mink. No time to waste. Mm. Hurry, Mink. We gotta get this cleaned up. Don't worry. I'm on it. The train is coming. Hurry, Mink. <laughs> it's getting closer. I can do it. All right, this is you it. You can do it, Mink. <laughs> We did it, guys! I foiled again! The train is saved! Another crisis avoided thanks to Mink and his friends! <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to at Mink so you can see what Mink and his friends are up to next time! See you then! Okay, kids, it's time for a song! Do you know about Old MacDonald and his farm? You do? Then sing along! Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O And on that farm he had some ducks, E-I-E-I-O With a quack quack here and a quack quack there Here a quack, there a quack, everywhere a quack quack Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O E-I-E-I-O And on that farm he had some pigs E-I-E-I-O With an oink oink here and an oink oink there Here an oink, there an oink, everywhere an oink oink Old MacDonald had a farm E-I-E-I-O Well, Old MacDonald had a farm E-I-E-I-O And on that farm he had some cows E-I-E-I-O with a moo moo here and a moo moo there Here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo moo Old MacDonald had a farm E-I-E-I-O Yeah, Old MacDonald had a farm E-I-E-I-O And on that farm he had some dogs E-I-E-I-O with a woof woof here and a woof woof there Here a woof, there a woof, everywhere a woof woof Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O Yeah, Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O And on that farm he had some cats, E-I-E-I-O with a meow meow here and a meow meow there Here a meow there meow everywhere and meow meow Old MacDonald had a farm E-I-E-I-O Well, Old MacDonald had a farm E-I-E-I-O And on that farm he had some horses E-I-E-I-O With a nay nay here and a nay nay there Here a nay there nay everywhere nay nay Old MacDonald had Farm. E -I -E -I 
search for App Mink. Okay, ready for the last part, everyone? Let's go! S Star T Turtle U Unicorn V. Violin W. Wheel X. Xylophone Why? Yellow Zip That's it, everyone! That's the whole alphabet! Amazing work! Now, let's take these letters for a drive, too! Thanks for joining us to learn the alphabet, everyone! Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time! Let's count. Cool. Apple tree. One, two, three, four, five. Five apples. Awesome. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Try again. Four, three, two, one. Well done.